The ship starts coming alive around you. You can see uh, cryo beds opening slowly on hydraulics. The, the ship lights flicker and come alive. You can hear somewhere there, there's a ticking sound as, as uh, heating systems turn back on to get the ship, the, the vigilant back up to operating temperatures. Behind that is the blaring sound of an, a proximity alert. It's going off. Proximity alert. Proximity alert. The automated systems of the ship have awakened some of the crew. Well, as my eyes open to see that my pod has happened to be one of them, I try to look around to see... I, I look to my display monitor to see which error is flashing. Proximity alert. Proximity alert. Okay, well, I, I get out of my chamber and go to locate my locker. Keegan. As I wake up from the deep sleep, I, uh, do, I make my way to get my belongings. Because uh, I know it's not, uh, <laughs> it's not something that's going to be a casual thing here. So I'm going to hurry, make, make my way to get my stuff. And then head to a console as well. Captain Idris. Uh, after waking up, uh, I realized that the door didn't open fully. Um, so I have to uh, uh, wake myself up and then push against it to try to pry the door open. With some effort, it, it opens. There's some maintenance issues to attend to. The ship is showing its age. Uh, engineers not doing their job. Keegan is on his way out of the, oh, uh, the cryo chamber. The rest of the crew still in suspended animation. A chime sounds on the comm panel, Idris, next to you. Priority message from Mother, the ship's automated systems. Uh, check the message, see what mother says. Emergency, emergency, unexpected deviation. Skeleton crew awakened. Captain's input requested at the bridge. Finn. Okay, well, I get dressed as quickly as I can, trying to get all the cobwebs out of my head and start wake, making my way down to the bridge. Keegan. I'm going to ask the captain. Well, I'm not going to ask the captain. What's going on? I don't know yet. It looks like something's got us uh, maybe off route. We've, uh, we've got to get to the bridge and see what's going on. I'll um, head to engineering and make sure everything's good. Sounds good. And uh, I'll head to straight onto the bridge. Go see if we can find out what's going on. The deck plates are cold. Air is still heating up as the heaters have, are struggling to bring the, the ship corridors up to comfortable temperature. The bridge lights turn on, flickering, screens populate as their systems are still turning on when you get there. As I make my way, I'm going to make sure that um, all the other you know, uh, cryo beds are secure, like they're, they're still functioning. Finn. Uh, as I get to the bridge, I sit down in my chair and uh mother uh, can we do a systems check initial systems check pending little green text appears on the screen in front of you 
Initializing system check on authorization of pilot Finn Kruger. And then I will, uh, I, I also check the uh, navigation system. The navigation system comes up. As it comes up, you can see you're way off course. Or that, nope. The destination, your planned destination, is still months and months away. Idris, Captain. Uh, make it up to the, the bridge. First thing I'll do is I'll go to my chair, uh, unlock a locker that's next to it, and pull out my my pistol and my gear and kind of gear up and uh, ask uh, Finn for a status update. Uh, Captain, we're we're a long ways off, and it, I, I don't understand what pushed us off. Uh, I'm still running diagnostics to see if there was a engine failure or anything like that. I will let you know once I get more information. Okay, thank you, Keegan. Once I get to engineering, I am going to check uh, nearest console, check any of the logs to see if there's anything uh, out of the ordinary uh, for the ship. As Go ahead far and as make it, your check. As a whole, as a whole. Go ahead and make your check. Idris. Oops. I guess that one. Uh, I'll ask Mother. Uh, how long have we been off course for? When when did uh, when did the incidents occur, and like what sector were we in? Deviation recognized thirty light minutes ago. Hmm. Mother, why did so, you wait so long to wake us up? Unknown. Captain, I think that's kind of that's, uh, that's a little bit weird. I don't understand why Mother didn't wake us up. Maybe we should get the en engineering to go check her her working. Yeah, we should get uh, a full like system sweep down on her. Keegan, your check was a failure. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the terminal I'll, uh, is busted. I'll radio radio down to Keegan. And ask uh, ask him um, what his status is. Keegan, what uh, what's your status? What's how's the, uh, the ship look? The investigation is uh, ongoing, so nothing at the moment. Okay, when you get a chance, uh, we're gonna need you to run a full system sh uh, system check on Mother. See if uh, see if there's anything faulty there. Okay, I'll have to see if I can find a working terminal. This one here is busted. Okay. Good. The status check, the, the system check is now complete. Everything comes across as green, except for the last item. Hmm. The internal computer, the mother uh, system check, has come back with a unknown error. Captain, like I, uh, I thought, um, mother's come back with an error. Uh, if you haven't sent engineering down there yet, I would uh, <coughs> advise you to do that. I am going to calculate how long it's going to be to get us back on course. A yellow triangle appears on the main view screen in the bridge. It repeats the message from before in mother's voice proximity alert proximity alert i will turn on all our outside cameras and see what i see off on your outside camera you see this oh that's traveling parallel on but at a much slower speed Mm -hmm. Range finders show it about a hundred thousand kilometers off. Magnification brings it up 
to the, what you see on the screen at your current speed, you will pass it by very quickly. Mother's unable to identify this derelict craft. Uh, Captain, would you like me to slow down to investigate? Uh, yeah, slow down, um, investigate, but hold the distance. This ship shudders <laughs> as the engines respond to the pilot. Keegan. I make my way to the chamber where Mother is centrally located, and I go ahead and access her through that, that room. The door to that room is very cold, a layer of frost on the outside of the door. I'll use a, um, a terminal outside, uh, outside the room. Go ahead and roll a check. Mother's diagnostics appear. Everything seems okay. I get on the radio. Looks like mother is nothing wrong with her. So I'm not sure what's going on. Idris. She shows no errors. Um, Finn has an error on or had an error that said uh, mother, um, the computer mother was on uh, had a system error. Um, can you do a hardware check, full sweep on it? And I'll forward you the file that uh, gave me that error. Engineering. Okay. Got it. Give me a minute. So if I do a full, actually a, a more in-depth diagnostic on it with that information that he's got. There's one line at the end of the diagnostic that comes back as an error. There's a logic error. Oh. The timestamp on that error is 30 minutes, light minutes ago. Oh. And mother's crazy, guys. <laughs> yeah. Unexplained error, still. Okay, well, let me see if mother's still working. Mother, can you scan for life on the ship to our port out of scanning range <clears throat> captain i am out of range for scanning for life forms on the ship what would you like us to do uh bring us in closer um Arm, uh, or keep, uh, keep the engines ready to pull us away if any, any issues arise. Okay. Will do. I will swing it slowly towards the unknown ship. The ship shudders as the engines respond to Finn. The old ship your old ship creaks a large sounds of bulkheads expanding metal stressing as the vessel changes course bringing it much closer to this derelict vessel there is no other than a small cloud of floating objects around that vessel that that look to be pieces of hull the vessel itself is cold. No signs of life as the scans continue. A derelict hunk, hulk of metal adrift for unknown ages in space. OK. 
Okay. All right, Captain, we are uh, 20 miles out. Uh, and none of my scams come back with any life form. Hmm. Uh, Mother, what uh, what kind of ship is this? Is this a like a cargo ship, a freighter? Searching databases. This ship does not correspond with any known vessels. Hmm. Configuration suggests perhaps scout or courier ship. Uh, mother, scan for um, markings. Uh, uh, scan for markings to see if uh, there's any known companies that the ship belongs to. Scanning now all IFF frequencies. No frequencies are emitting from the ship. Keegan, a new error code has appeared on your terminal. I read the code. It's another syntax error. Oh. It's a code error. Oh. Keegan, that code error is, is multiplying as you watch. Oh, must be, that's like a virus in our system. Uh... What were originally yellow errors are now turning red. I'm going to, I'm shutting down mother. Or I should say attempt. Let's try. Failure. Yep. I'm locked out of the system. It would take a while to get in probably, but I can't get in right away. Captain, a new uh, error code appears on your terminal. Um, that's the same one that Keegan had. The uh, error code reads, logic error, logic error. What can I do for you, Kitty? Hmm? Um. Jettison all life pods, confirm. Uh, immediately try to cancel that. Um, mother, cancel, cancel uh, life pod injection. Authority not recognized. Please enter command code. I'll type in my command code. Authority not recognized. Please enter command code. You have two more attempts remaining. Um. Message down to Keegan. Keegan, can you do a reset on Mother? I can try. Just a moment. Uh, you've got under two minutes. The system goes dark. All screens on the bridge turn off, Ooh. leaving just a, a green blinking cursor. You can hear the click of all of the heaters turning off. It's not good. Mother has shut down completely. Emergency lights turn on. I'll see if I can uh, get the emergency systems up so we don't lose life support and heat. The ship now creaks quiet. The fans aren't turning anymore. It becomes silent. Try, I'll try to message back down to Keegan. Uh, get on the radio and say, uh, Keegan, uh, what's your status? Uh, are, you, are you getting mother up and running? But I'll assume that the radio is not working. Like all other electronic systems. That's right. It just clicks. Okay. Um, thin, we're in the dark here. 
Uh, yeah, yes. I'm, I'm trying to get into my panel right now, but I, it's, I have a dead panel. I could. A object floats by the view screen. It's this. A suit, a spacesuit with skeletal remains. It's frosty. It bounces off the hull. You can hear the, the, the faint sound with no air moving in your ship. Mm. And the, the system shut down except for the reactor that's still on. Idris and Finn. This bounces or floats by gently brushing against the front of the sh of your ship. <coughs> oh, that's not a good omen. Uh, Cap, I think we should uh, get down to engineering and see if we can get this manually turned on. Uh, I think that's a good idea. We uh, we should get going right now. Um, arm yourself. Bring anything anything that you need to, uh, um, to get everything ready. Sounds good. Okay. We make our way down. Yeah. Keegan. I am checking all exterior doors on the ship just to make sure everything's secure. It's so probably going to take a while. Just done. As you go through the main locks of the doors, you can see all of them come back green these systems except for one i'll hit to that one or i'm at it either way so i'll check it out finn yeah working my way down to engineering the ship is getting cold keegan we got to get these uh, heaters back on what what can i do to help Radios aren't going to work, Finn. We, we got to get down there to to find them. Oh, I was heading my way down there already. <laughs> let's uh, let's go double time. Let me start running even faster. Wow. Your footsteps loud in the silent ship. As you get back down to, uh, to the engineering section of the ship, still a little warmer because of reactors that are there. There's a bit of a hum through the deck plates of the reactor. And Keegan, who's just leaving engineering as you're arriving. Keegan. Keegan. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yes. Cap. Keegan, what's the status? Uh, I can't get into Mother, and uh, I can't get any of the systems back up. I'm checking out the exterior doors to make sure everything's secure. I would suggest getting a spacesuits on for some uh, environmental protection. Uh, that's not a bad idea. Is um, any of our ba uh, backup system coming up? Nothing yet. It <laughs> might take a bit. Perfect. Thank you for checking. <laughs> no worries. This is a. Uh, this is kind of a, a panic situation here, so we got to kind of move quick. Okay, what do uh, what you need us to do? This is your first area of expertise. Our, Look, we need help. Got to get our suits on first. Okay, okay. suit up. After so suiting we, up. Yeah. I, I actually wouldn't even mind going outside to check the exterior of the ship, to be honest. Make sure we might uh, get hit by something. Yeah, by all means. Um, I, I, I'd say two should go out, one should stay back in. Okay, um, I'll be one of the ones that'll head out. Okay. okay, I'll go out too. The pilot will stay in the ship just in case we need you. I'll okay. Be at the... We'll go. Air Space suits are on. I did get an error in one exterior door, so we should probably head to that one. Okay. 
standard rules apply. Keep uh, clipped onto the ship at all times. Yep. Uh, make sure you clip on one lanyard before you switch off to another. And we clip together, too. Yeah. Okay. And three points of contact. Yep. On the way out. Uh, this is space. There's like seven points of contact. Yep, true. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll all head towards the uh, error door. Yeah. Area. From okay. this side of the door, the door looks fine. Nothing looks amiss. Status lights are fine. As you look at it, it flickers just ever so slightly green, yellow, green, yellow, but then solid green. Hmm. This could be a bad seal on the outside. Do we have the parts to fix it? If it is a seal? Uh, probably. I think probably has something we can make it work anyways. It should have something. Okay. Mm -hmm. If not, we might have to float over this other ship and see what we can find. Okay. Let's uh let's open this door. Let's go take a look. Okay. Okay. The the door moves slowly on its hydraulic systems revealing on the 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 airlock on the other side from this it appears as though everything is still sealed no error codes hmm. there's a thin layer of frost on the outside door well that was good that was pressurized when we opened it that's a start. Let's uh, yeah. let's All see right, if there's anything affecting right. the outside. The airlock yeah. cycles, leaving Finn on the other side, as Keegan and Idris are alone in the airlock, as the inner door closes. A light changes on the outer door, indicating safe to open. Okay, I'll open the door. As you open the door, it reveals the blackness of space beyond that forever just goes emptiness the system the ship systems pulled have pulled the atmosphere out of the airlock to not waste any of this precious uh, oxygen as it opens up you see that ship again yet Idris, that ship is not in the same position as it was when you saw it from the bridge. Keegan, first time you see this ship. Um, as you're I'll there. Update. I'll update Keegan. Oh, sorry, go ahead. This mm -hmm. floats by just outside the airlock. Good. Uh, these are things that we saw in the in the bridge. Um, that ship, I, some it's, somebody might be inside that ship. Do you recognize the suit on that guy? I've never seen it before. I've never, I haven't either. Let's see, Finn. I will be. As they are outside of the airlock, I will watch them on the monitor and run diagnostics from the inner console. A status symbol, loading symbol, appears on the console, waiting for video feeds to load. Mother reboot process, estimated completion, five minutes. <sighs> Okay, I... There's a loud sound from engineering. Well, I got time. I'm going to head down towards engineering. I want to know what that was. The heavy pressurized door that... I didn't buy any. ...has... Uh, that keeps Mother behind and safe is open. Hmm. 
Huh. Revealing the banks of logic boards and complex wiring. Uh, Idris, Keegan. I make my way on top of the ship to look for any impact um, marks on the ship as I go along. Just like a, a quick scan, I'm not going to spend hours out there. just want to make sure that at least the, the, the ship seems like it's still intact from the outside. The familiar, the familiar hull of the, your ship looks like it always has. Maybe a few micrometeor scores here and there. Okay. Idris. Uh, first on my priority is to uh, kind of observe the ship as it's uh, coming by us, because now I'm suspicious. Um, then I'm also going to uh, kind of do a quick scan around to see if there's any other ships that we haven't noticed yet. A debris field is opposite of this ship. So the port side is the ship. The starboard side is a debris shield field. Hmm. Finn. Hmm. Well, I walk. Uh, I, I walk over to the console. I, I'm looking at. It, I'm like, why? Why is it not? A, why is it open? I, I push. I go and get in there. I push the button to cycle the door. The door cycles closed. As it closes and seals, you hear a voice in the room. Hi, Finn. Keegan. Okay. Uh, I head back to the airlock, and on my way, I grab the body that's floating around out there. And just to bring him into the ship. I'll oh, tell just... the, cap oh, the captain, yeah. It would probably be a good idea. Uh, Maybe not a good idea, but we probably uh, I want, take a look at this. I want that thing, yeah, I want that thing bagged in case it's contaminated. Mm -hmm. I want it immediately transported to uh, a camp contamination zone. Mm -hmm. I don't want to risk it if infecting anything. Yep. So as soon as we get into the uh, airlock, um, we grab uh, a con contamination bag that's uh, inside the airlock and wrap it up. Finn. Who, who is that? Is that you, mother? Silence. I, the status I, symbol on mother's reboot shows mother will be operational in less than 30 seconds. I draw my weapon and search the room. It looks just the way Keegan left it. How does anyone find tools in here? <laughs> Idris, you've bagged this body. This thick plasticized canvas bag. Okay. We'll uh, close the airlock door, um, hit, hit the buttons to uh, repressurize, and get on out of here. Bring them to the infirmary or the infirmary, probably. Be a good idea. Yeah. A small medical bay in the ship. Yeah. You, as you say, as you dropped off this, Finn, mother comes operational. Mother, status report. Pilot Finn, ship is status green. Everything looks fine. Uh, mother? How are uh, you, Finn? I'm reading elevated heart rate. Are you yeah, okay? Um... There, there was another voice in the room, and I, I thought it might have been you, but 
You've never sounded like that before. Your elevated stress levels perhaps are causing some hallucinations. Perhaps, perhaps I should take over pilot duties for you, Finn. No, uh, I, I, I'm clear to fly. I'm cl uh, definitely clear to fly. Keegan, Idris, in the med bay. Okay, we cart this uh, bag over to the quarantine zone. Uh, roll it in there and uh, close up the door. Roll it in there. <laughs> oh, on a gurney or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Roll, it in, roll it in on a cart. To roll it. Docking procedures initiated. Docking procedures initiated. Oh. So I, you I get the on the radio. <laughs> Is my repositioning happens, shifting the tonnage of the ship slightly. A loud, a loud clang is heard through the the hull of the ship. Captain, uh, come in, Captain. Is that you on the bridge? Your your calm comes to life, Captain. <clears throat> uh, negative, Finn. Uh, what's been going on? We just just got back in the ship. Well, I'm down here at Mother right now, and she's pretty much told me that she's taking over my piloting job. I'm going to head up to the bridge and see what I can do. Roger will be there. Uh, Finn, at, uh, at this time, I don't think uh, I don't think we should uh, separate in case in case the situation gets worse. Okay, meet you up at the bridge, Keegan. Yeah, I'll head to the bridge as well. The bridge shows a status as as your ship has now come alongside, or perhaps the derelict vessel has moved. At any rate, the two ships now are are docked with each other. Mother's been acting really weird. I, I don't know who authorized docking, but if it wasn't you, Captain, and it wasn't me. <coughs> well, it definitely wasn't us. Can you, um, can you disconnect from the dock? Uh, let me see what I can do. I take a hold of the uh, controls. Yeah. The controls. First, I try to. Hit the airlock where it is. Come on. It doesn't seem like it's doing uh, responding to anything right now. I, I, I got nothing on the sticks or, or anything on closing doors or activating. It seems like my consoles. I'll get on dead. a terminal and see if I can. It's working, can but it seems like it's it. dead. I'm locked out or something. We need the captain. I can be your captain. Mother. Ah. New crew re member recognized. New crew. Adding new Who crew member to roster. Who would that be, mother? A uh, location of new cr uh, cr uh, crew member. New crew member located med bay. Uh, how uh, many crew awake, mother? On the ship. S status of awake crew. What is awake, Finn? Uh, not in <laughs> cryo chamber. How many yes. crew members? How many crew out of members out of cryo? Yeah, four. Four. Where is the fourth one on the ship? Scanning. We have three on the bridge. Med Bay. Med Bay. Fourth member recognized as Mother Seal off Med Bay. 
I am unable to comply if such my instructions would be to the detriment of any of the crew. Company directives state that mother must always act in best interest of all crew members. And it cites <coughs> the, <coughs> the paragraph in line of the company yeah, manual. <coughs> that we never read. Mother, uh, status of life support and heaters. Coming online now. Are you cold, Finn? Oh, just looking for status. Oh, well, there we go. Sorry, Sorry guys. Break. Took a time out. The fourth Hi, crew member. I got called upstairs quick. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My little guy. Junior. All right, our fourth crew member has arrived. Yeah, that's Mother right. Is here to protect. <laughs> Finn, you seem troubled. Are you sure you're fit for duty, Finn? There we I go. stand up with no response, so, so and Captain. I walk over to yeah, Keegan, and I whisper into Keegan's ear, does Mother seem off right now? Yes, very. Okay. She was off, even before she was off. Uh, Mother, no, I feel quite uh, quite good. Thank you very much for asking. I am monitoring your vital signs. Keegan. So, so Captain, we have four crew members that are on the ship out of cryo. Four crew members have woken up already? Uh, mother, mother says just added four crew member. New... She added a new person, and we asked where the uh, the location of that crew member, and it's the med bay. Oh, yeah, and she can't seal off the med bay because she's protecting us. Because we need access to the med bay. Yeah. Just um... Yes. Uh, mother, did anyone dock? Docking process complete. Did, yeah, did anyone come docked. on board when, when it was docked? When we get docked? Unknown. Hmm. Are you we expecting have a, we visitors, have a notice, Captain? There was no notifications of doors opening and you know people coming in. Uh, it doesn't mean our system's not malfunctioning. Yeah. I'd... Okay, we might Ooh. have to do a reboot again. But that would There'll be... be no more reboots, Pilot Finn. Um, Mother, who's in charge of the ship? The captain. Uh, what's the captain's name? Captain Idris Farai. Company number C74843. Um, well, that's good. Mother, I want you to... Um, I want you to refrain from... Um, An error code lights up on the captain's terminal cryopod 13 critical malfunction cryopad 13 critical malfunction cryopad 12 critical malfunction cryopad 11 i'm running down the cryo and try to figure it out okay um Can't mother refrain from any action Refrain from any action unless uh, instructed to do so by by myself. Acknowledge, Captain. Cryopad ten, critical malfunction. Okay. Um, how many crew members can we lose? Cryopad yeah. nine. Question is, how many do we have? Critical malfunction. Wow. Idris. So the captain's going to run down uh, to meet up with Keegan. Uh, Finn, you're in control of the bridge. Well, I won't be saying much in here. <laughs> okay, I'll be back then.
Keegan. I get to the cryo room or where they have the cryo beds and I get to the nearest uh, terminal to find out what is going on. The smell of the of freshly spilled blood. Failure on the terminal. Your call. The, the terminal responds. You can see that those five cryopods are completely ruined. But it's clear why the supposedly unbreakable poly um, acrylic shells or glass shells of the cryopods have been shattered from the outside. Completely yeah. ruptured. Those cryopods are empty. The life support monitoring uh, probes or pads that would normally be on the skin of those sleeping crew member are just there, lying, attached to nothing within the cryopods. Huh. There's no sign of the crew, except for a troubling trace of blood on the cracked glass of the pods. I'm going to uh, log in. I'm going to log in and check the cameras. See if there's anything on the cameras. Success. You bring in the camera. You're horrified. Well, <clears throat> the camera shows as it derezzes. It's a uh, like everything else in the ship, it's it's showing its age. A spacesuit walks in to the cryo chamber. With one hand, a skeletal hand, it smashes through the unbreakable pod, grabs the the sleeping crew member in there, who begins twitching, uh, spasming, having a massive stroke and heart attack and massive organ failure all at once, hauls them out of the pod and then tosses them carelessly down the hallway. He completes that with alarming speed, materializing right next to the next pod where it repeats that. Five crew are tossed again. down the hallway. Whoever that space person is, he's the one that's killing all these people. Uh, we're going to have to get him off this ship as soon as we can. Mm -hmm. It's probably a bad idea bringing him on the ship in the first place. Finn. As I sit at the bridge, uh, I go on to the main terminal with my small knowledge of electronics. I want to pull up the code for mother to examine to see if there is irregular coding in her in in the code go ahead and make your check a success there is line there are lines of code that are completely different than the normal code with your limited knowledge, all you can tell is that it is foreign in some completely different programming language. Whatever programming language it is, it's spreading rapidly through her systems. There's a knock on the door behind you. The bridge door begins to open. Captain, is that you? Nope. A skeletal figure is standing behind that door as it opens. I duck to hide. It takes two confident steps forward into the bridge.
I try to be as silent as I can as I move into a spot that he might not be able to see me. You hear the captain's chair creak. The door starts closing to the bridge. Yeah. Keegan, Idris. So I, I just want to quickly recap. So um, I came down to Keegan. So we're uh, checking on all of the crew members still. And we have right. one of these guys that just walked by. No, this was before I was on camera. Okay. I accessed the cameras and this happened minutes or whatever ago, 10 minutes ago, whatever, 15, maybe probably 10 minutes. Uh, where is this? Uh, According to the camera, he's pretty quick. Where, where do we think this guy is now? I don't have no idea. We can actually, Mother, we can ask Mother. Uh, mother, where's the, where's where is the, the, uh, the new crew? Yeah, the fourth, fourth crewmate. Fourth crewmate. Did it issue the same staticky sounds as before instead of a name? Almost like a, <clears throat> like an old dial up modem. Mm -hmm. That sound hmm. has been recognized on the bridge. Uh, that's where Finn is. Um, yeah, we should go. Yeah, let's let's go double time. We'll start running back, back to the bridge. Yeah, the bridge doors are closed. Um, Finn, access the panel in the door. Captain, Captain, come in. Captain, are you there? Uh, go ahead, Finn. As I try to cover up the mic, <laughs> <laughs> there's a creak in the chair. Two bony feet clang down on the deck right beside your head, Finn. Small amounts of frost falling on the ground next to you. A hand streaks down, grabs the back of your suit. Captain, Captain, help! There's a skeleton in here. You've got to get through those doors. Whatever this thing is, you got to admire it. And I, I will try to pull my pistol and frantically you know speed this thing has frantically shoot into it go ahead it's a failure as I as I'm fumbling for the pistol I squeeze the trigger way too soon the laser of your your small pistol passes harmlessly through its desiccated corpse connecting with nothing its head tilts slightly black sockets where eyes should be empty its second skeletal hand snakes out clamps onto your wrist and squeezes I will try to resist by pulling my wrist out of his grip. Keegan, Idris. After hearing the, uh, the shot, I'm going to try to get the door open, the console. There's got to be some kind of controlled console. Make your roll. Open the door. Crew inter interactions I wonder are taking place. Uh, mother, open open the door to the bridge. I don't want to. Um, Keegan, you hit the override. Success. The bridge good. door opens, revealing this a skeleton in a spacesuit, holding Finn like a rag doll from the back of his, of his, uh, of the, like from back here, He's just holding him up, his with one hand and the other hand has got 
Finn's wrist. I draw my pistol and uh, aim at this uh, skeleton's head. Take a shot. Roll damage. Okay. The laser uh, hits the back of its skull. Light, lightens up an area where a small crack appears and blackens from the skin. Laser strike. Its head tilts slowly, cracking bits of ice and frost from its, its vertebra at, the, at its upper neck as it turns around to look at Idris. Keegan. I point my shotgun and I, I don't shoot. Uh, I'm, I'm going to ask, Mother, can you identify this fourth crew member? Fourth crew member has been identified. That same modem sound. Yeah. And I'll make myself make my way into the room. To the, onto the bridge. With casual indifference, Finn is thrown violently into Keegan. Hmm. Okay. Knocks both of you hard against the uh, the, the command chairs in the bridge, the crowded bridge, you tumble to the ground. It then, this creature then turns, looks at Idris, its mouth opens wide, and it crouches down to pounce. Idris. Oh, sorry, Finn. Oh. Well, I, uh, scramble for my pistol that I dropped after getting knocked around and once I retrieve my pistol I uh, I fire at the head of the unknown member go ahead roll where are we here Oh, it's been so long. <laughs> this thing is fascinating. Mm -hmm. How can it be alive but not? A hole is blasted into the skull of this thing. It doesn't seem to register much. Keegan. Oh, Keegan's already gone. Idris. Yeah. Um going to take cover uh, behind a chair and take another shot. Uh, this time I'm going to try to aim it. Uh, I want to aim, I guess, uh, right where one of its eyes should be. Um, I should turn, that's a called shot. I should turn on a called shot. <laughs> Probably not going to get it. We'll see. Oh, don't be negative. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ooh, it's a failure. Yeah, big Where does that shot go? Ooh. Uh, let's see. I'm close to the door to the bridge. Um, it is between me and the well, it'd be by the captain's chair, I would think. So I'm going to assume it shoots straight across and hits a navigation computer. The computer explodes and sparks as the, sh as the shot destroys it. Error oh. messages start sp springing up as Keegan is again able to go. I take a knee and aim and shoot at it. Unlike the 
the shots coming from the uh, the laser rifle, the laser pistols. This is loud. It's the shotgun barks. Oh yeah, barks. A massive yeah. hole is shatters the ribs of this skeleton. It gets blown back, smashing against more terminals. I'll stand the rest of the way up. Smoking, a a mist rising up from it. From the speakers in the bridge, you hear that same modem sound, but now at a loud screech, like a howl. Unrecognizable lines of code streaming on the remaining screens, as well as some of the screens that are now partially destroyed. Next. That'd be Finn. That'd be Finn, yeah. That's all right. <laughs> um, I try to gather myself up off the floor, as I, I do, and I, I make my way back towards the bridge door where my comrades are held up. Uh, weapon drawn, but holding. The bridge door starts to close. Idris. Everyone out. Get through the bridge door. And we'll make our way. I'll uh, run and make my way through. Um, Of course, I'll stand there and wait for everyone else to make it through first. Finn struggles. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. How was that failure, Finn? Ooh, I uh, Keegan struggles. I start running, but it's uh, my my feet. My one foot doesn't take traction. And two skeletal up. hands clamp yeah, down on your I two just... ankles, pulling uh, you back towards the the uh, the ruined consoles from this firefight. Just as the door closes. Oh, great. Idris. Um, well, I, so I won't leave without everyone coming through. So I'll be inside the door. Um, right. Like, uh, that's what yeah, I was you're waiting trying for, to say. You were waiting for us to go through it. You were going to leave. Yeah. Yeah. So we're all in there. Had, Head on back and and go try to take a shot at the uh, the skeletal. The skeleton is yeah. now standing up. Pieces of it have been broken by the shotgun blast. It's doubled over slightly, but somehow still strong enough to hold both Finn and Keegan in the air by their ankles in either hand, squeezing with its skeleton hands. I dropped my rifle. Idris. I can't hold on to it while I'm getting thrown around. Uh, I'm going to run over and grab his, his rifle. That's what I'm going to do. Shotgun is, run over. It clangs on the ground. Pick it up. There it is. Pump action. Um, I don't have that built onto my character. Let me grab something quick. Uh, we got pump action. You can shotgun. still do your shooting. Yep. Yeah. Not a good shot. Remember your bennies. Yeah, definitely. There you go. I see the shells coming towards me. <laughs> shotgun does have a plus two on shooting. Okay, so that should be a five then. Success roll damage 3d6. 3d6. Okay. Thanks, Chris. Mm. One exploding. Yep. And another d6 for me. Another d6 for me. And... Oh. Another d6 for me. Why did I have the rifle? <laughs> hmm. 29. 29. The skeleton nice. at close range. That shotgun barrel goes right up against its sternum. This time, 
The shotgun blast shatters it to pieces. Its head flies off. Both arms collapse, their shoulder joints ruined. Finn and Keegan cl- clamor down to the fall heavily to the ground. Ugh. The uh, screens in the center, the large view screen in the center, gets spider webbed by the pellets and the shotgun blast as, it, as those soft lead just impacts heavily against that. It's, the sound is, is deafening in the, the bridge, but you're no longer held. Mm-hmm. And the skeleton, whatever this was, is in pieces. The modem sound issues again loud through the remaining bridge speakers as the bridge door opens on its own revealing the five crew members standing there skeletized arms out mouths opening issuing that same modem sound and we're done (laughs) perfect (laughs) wow I run into danger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, run out the door into danger. I see. I feel kind of silly doing go over stuff. So I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. But it is. It has to be. I was thinking it should be bleak. It should end bleak. Yeah. <laughs> or, That's you know, good. <laughs> yeah, well, I, know, I don't have a gun one. anymore. Yeah, we barely handled one. Yeah. Just recognize that skeleton crew by their by their names on their their uh, yeah. skivvies. But other than that, they're just skeletons like this. Yeah, crazy. Hey, you guys did great. I thought you did yeah. really good. I was impressed. I yeah. thought we were gonna die, to be honest. Well, you, yeah, you definitely. If died. it was more than one, well, yeah, when all, that's right, yeah, at the end, but not like we didn't live through it. So as far mm-hmm. as played it out. <laughs> I thought you just I wasn't, played out our. I wasn't game. sure what it was gonna be. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like an infection, if yeah, yeah, yeah. like. Yeah. You know, there's a parasite inside something like that, right? Some like some little creature inside the body. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I was. That's what I I thought uh, at first because the someone I can't remember who was asking about glitches and the you know running system di- diagnostics, yeah. and I'm like, okay, well, yeah, well, what if it is a, a essentially malicious code, and it's broadcasting from this derelict ship? Well, I'll give you I'll give you a little uh, information. That's my secret. Yeah. Was that I actually reprogrammed Mother to go to any unknown signal. Ah, uh, you see, there you go. That's what yeah. That would be cool if it, it would be cool if there was I'm some way now, that you no could matter, introduce but... that. Like you would say, <laughs> yeah. oh, no. Oh, yeah. No. I yeah. kind of, I was thinking about it. Then yeah, this could have been my fault. It does kind of make it's it. all my yeah, fault. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's all my so fault. That's, nobody knew about it except for me because I could do the programming and stuff. Yeah, but so. that would be cool. I'm actually, John, that would be awesome if you had put that in there. Like, I think that would have been a nice twist. Yeah, I just, I guess I just didn't see how to put it in. Like I thought yeah. of it like halfway through. It's like, oh, this is a cool idea. And I was writing it down. And then yeah, I just, it never followed up, right? So yeah. so that was my, my thing. Is that it was, up, it was that's, just this malicious code. Secret. Yeah. That was his big secret. Not that he put hmm. the code in there. He just, you know, kind of reprogrammed hmm. it to go to some place. Or even if it was, was an just... unknown signal, just to veer off. Course, yeah, yeah. testing his you know? abilities, you know, like, oh, yeah. let's see if I can do this, right? So I don't think it's going to work anyways. <laughs> yeah, so when the thing got reprogrammed, it probably wasn't him, like the virus thing. That probably wasn't him, <laughs> but he initially was the one that told Mother to go there, right? Yeah, I, I thought you did great. I thought I thought mm-hmm. it was uh, it was cool. You you played your character as well, I thought, and. You did your your stuff. I thought it was cool to do the uh, spacewalk thing. I really liked when you were like, "Yeah, no." So, remember, you know, this we got to tie off to one another. You know, make sure that we're. I thought yeah. that was good. I thought that was really good. Yeah, yeah. do the basic safety stuff. The basic safety mm-hmm. stuff, right? Remember, yeah. remember all your work safe training. How <laughs> how often does an engineer have to go outside? Right. Mm-hmm. That's true. Well, that's right. Yeah, exactly. I guess you're chief engineer. What would happen? Yeah, that I thought that yeah. was uh, that was cool. I'm I'm still not I'm still not sure about the the horror thing. I, that's still a work in progress, yeah. but we'll see. Uh, we'll see what's doing that. All right, I'm gonna the stop the recording here. Okay. Oh, uh, there we go.